Hi there! So today I'm bringing this to you, Heart of Iron by Isley Poston, and I have to say that I have enjoyed and loved this book even more than I thought that I would. The thing is, I have never read any of her books, and I remember uh, looking uh, through the first pages of this book, and there were lots of things that caught my attention. And Emily, uh, it was a book like a space opera that's going to be a space adventure and all those kinds of things. And also there was this artificial intelligence, uh, this android who had like a damaged chip or whatever. And so I was sold because those are things that I really love in books. I love uh, books about androids and uh, artificial intelligence and space opera and sci-fis. And so, yeah, I was sold onto this one. And when I got it, I found myself, I just couldn't stop reading because the book is incredibly well done in the way that there is lots and lots of action. It's very fast paced, but also it's written in a way that everything waits on you. I mean, it's not like something that you just go flipping through the pages, but uh, everything that goes through, it makes you think and it makes you feel for the characters and the characters. Oh my God, they are so well crafted. I mean, every one of them you end up loving. Uh, the book is narrated by different uh, characters. We have Anna, who is our main character, just to say. And she's a girl who was, um, she's a survivor, a fire survivor. She was born. Half her face, it's like a scarlet because of the flames. And it looks like uh, someone called Dee, who is an android. He was the, the one that saved her from a fire, but neither of them remembers anything. And they are traveling inside this spaceship and they like some kind of a space pirate, 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 pirate. Pirates, right? I don't know. I know how to pronounce that. And they go gallivating around and doing things. And so she's happy, but also she's falling in love with this android. And uh, she feels like uh, he's an android and maybe he cannot give love back, but maybe he can because they have been friends forever. And now we are both in a place in which uh, D, the android, it's glitching a lot. And so she crafts this idea, this plan, in order to save him, because uh, she doesn't want to find who she is in this world without him by her side. So she crafts this idea. I'm not going to explain much about it, but it goes to really wrong. And we find other characters throw into the mix. Uh, there is one character that uh, he's a very uh, he's an iron blood, like it's like nobility. And he's called Rob, and we're going to follow him through the book. And he's also an amazing character. All the characters are amazing. What we're going to find in this in this book, it's like a, a retelling of the Anastasia story. And uh, I have to say that, as I said, I love how well done this book is. I love that we have this multiple multiple point of view that we go jumping through different characters because in this way we have the introspect of all these characters' lives and how they feel and how they see the world. And this is amazing because we have different characters from different places of the world and even different uh, nobility. Uh, we have lowborns, we have everything. So this gives you a wider scope of the world we are in inhabiting in this book. We are going to follow, as I say, Anna D. There is another character, Rob, as I say, that he's nobility. He is a guy who likes guys and uh, he is always a bit of a maverick and he's got a lot of pressure. His mother wants him to be something else than what he really is. And he has this abusive brother who always prefers to punch him rather than to speak with him. So he never finds himself, himself fitting in any place. So he's going to be a very impressive character to follow. I love him. And there is also this other character called Jax. He's a Solari, he's from another species, and he's going to give us a, a, a side aspect of his world, what he really is and what his abilities are. So I love this character, he also likes guys. So yeah, I love that we have inclusion and representation in this book, because I think, as I always say, I love books that talk about inclusion, representation, and also defense what's different. We are going to find here the metals, that are androids and uh, humanity want to absorb them into one mind called the hive because they want them to lose like their sentient form because they are afraid that the metals can overpower them or do whatever and they want so they try to eradicate 
their free, th their free thinking and just to get them absorbed into this uni unity called the hive. So this is something that I love too, the idea of defending the free will even though they are androids, but they have their processors and their memory chips and somehow they all have different personalities. So I love this struggle of uh, wanting to be unique in this world and this point of view of humanity always uh, kind of destroying that which they don't completely understand or control. That's something that I love in this book and also why they, the metals, the androids were created. It's amazing. I, I have to say that uh, I'm not going to say lots of things about this book because I don't want to to do any kind of a spoiler for you. I want you to enjoy it. But uh, this is amazing. I mean, we're going to follow these, these mind characters. They are going to fight for their lives. They're going to fight for their what belief is right. And they're going to do mistakes. And they're going to learn from them. And as I say, the characters have these amazing evolutions. And I have to say that I completely love all the characters. And uh, the action being fast paced, it's like uh, you are always, uh, you know, following one of, of them, just getting into trouble and then surviving and doing something and just preparing the next, the next plot shift. And it's amazing because there's lots of plot twists here that I wasn't expecting. And by the end of the book, I was so in love with what Ashley Poston has created in this book that I have the second book of, those, of this theology coming to me this Saturday and I have also pre-ordered the J.K. Dalla one and the second one that she got from that series. So yeah, I'm quite impressed by this author ability to craft goals, to, to do amazing world building, to write in a prose that's amazing, that absorbs you. And yeah, as I say, it's fast paced, but also gives you glimpses of what everyone is thinking, a feeling. And in a way, it's not like she tells you, but she shows you how the characters are feeling. And I think it's very important because sometimes you're reading a book and you know that the character is sad because the author says the character is sad, it's very sad, oh my god, it's so sad. But then the actions doesn't correspond with that state of mind. Maybe she is sad but she goes partying or she does something that you, you think, okay, but wasn't she sad? In these books, we are going to, she's going to say, okay, she's sad because something happened to her, but you are going to see this character acting accordingly with the feelings. And for me, that's very important because as I say, sometimes the author just says something, but the character doesn't react accordingly. And for me, it's like, what? But in this one, we're going to see characters that feel a lot, that think a lot, that they want, uh, in the case of Rob, he wants to be more. He wants to get out of the shadow of his mother. He wants to be who he really is without all this expectation on obligations and uh, I mean it's crazy because he is his own man and his mother wants him to be something completely different and I don't know it's like a very abusive relationship in a way because um, maybe she should see who he really is and respect him for that so yeah I mean you are going to love this character so much if you like a sci-fi if you like a space operas if you like books with uh, androids who want to think and act by themselves as they are and if you look if you look after books who are going to surprise that are going to surprise you this one is it for you i mean i have loved every single page of this book i have just devoted it in like two days it's like 500 pages just couldn't put it down i mean it was amazing i wasn't expecting something some things was expecting because i knew it was an anastasia retelling so it's a no-brainer who is anastasia in this book but I wasn't expecting what happened to her, how it happened to her, why it happened to her, and how the book ends. It was like, what? So yeah, and every one of the characters, all the evolutions, all their arcs left me like, what? Because I wasn't expecting anything that happened in this book. And it's so well writing, really. Just give this girl an opportunity, this author, because she is amazing. Yeah, really, like, amazing. So pick this one up because, yeah, amazing. Thanks for watching.